All right, this video is on long lining and problems with uh, bucking and spinning on the long lines. This mare is 15 years old. She's been um, trying to buck and spin to get out of the work. So in the beginning, I'm going to have the harness or surcingle on her, and I'm just going to start lunging her either to the left or to the right with <coughs> both reins on or long lines on her. And she's doing pretty good here. I'm going to act like it's a lunging lesson in the beginning because I'm not going to get behind her right away. I don't, I'm not interested in getting kicked or she starts bucking, which she will about halfway through this video. Um, I'm not interested in getting kicked, so I'm going to be about where I'm at right now in the beginning. This goes with any horse that I start long lining on the, and getting them used to the carriages or whatnot. Then I'm going to go ahead and change directions. I'm going to go to the right. And she's uh, doing pretty good there. Then I'm going to go back to the left. So you can see I just changed directions there at the trot. She did pretty good with all that. And she's going along really well here. Her problem is when she gets, you know, thinks she's done, then she'll want to start bucking and spinning to get out of it. And that's what we're going to show you here in a few minutes in this video is how to deal with those types of problems and how to teach your horse how to long line. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do another change of direction and she did that really nicely and sometimes you gotta hurry up and you know kinda pick it up in the uh, when you're doing the change of direction and there is another really nice change of direction now I'm gonna go ahead and keep her at a walk right there and here in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and start falling behind her a little bit after I uh, lunge her a little bit more and again she's doing really well here Good. So just keep going in, you know, keep switching your directions, keep going uh, to the left, to the right, doing turns before you ever try to get, you know, walk behind her. So here I'm going to set myself up and I'm going to get behind her here. And I'm going to keep her going forward and there I go behind her. And as you can see, you know, I'm staying at least 20 feet back from her. You know, if she can kick out, um, 10 feet in back of her, you know, stay 20 feet back because it's not worth getting kicked. And there, there she's, you know, she's still going along really good and this is only about, you know, 20, 25 minutes into the lesson. And she's been a carriage horse for years and years and, um, but for one reason or another, she, you know, when th she thinks she's done, uh, she'll start bucking and spinning to get out of the work and then I'll show you how to correct that here in a minute. Here I'm just going to go ahead and back her up a little bit. And she's doing really well. She did really well there. You know. And then I'm just going to go ahead and keep coming behind her. Staying at least 20 feet back. Again, I'm not interested in getting kicked. And here we go. She just you know wants to go off and start bucking. And there she'll want to start bucking again. This is her MO to get out of it. And there she starts spinning to get out of it. And I, I wasn't able to catch her in time this time to correct it. What a nut. But uh, here on her second and third attempt, I'll catch her. So now I'm going to really get after her, and I'm going to tell her, no, you know, you're going to get through this. You're going to start cantering again. You know, that nonsense of bucking and spinning to get out of stuff, getting yourself tangled up in the reins is a bunch of nonsense. The only reason she does it is because she thinks she's done, and the owners let her get away with it before when Whoa. she did that. <laughs> she... Uh, um, they they just untie her or get her undone and take everything off and put her away. So she learned that if she started bucking or spinning uh, to get out of the work, they'd put her away. So now I'm just going to keep really working her now because I need to give her some type of motivator, you know, not to start bucking and spinning. And their motivator is going to be work. And here we go. Yeah, there she tries it again. And I'm going to correct her this time. I caught her in time this time. And I'm going to keep catching her, and I'm going to send her off. There I send her off. So she tried it, and this time I was quick enough to catch her. Now we're going to go back to the left. She's doing pretty good there. She starts doing pretty good again. And we're just going to keep going around and around all you know, spend as much time as I have to within that one day 
yeah, you well, know, to you know, try to air, get that, something. It affects everything. You know, try to get her out of it know. or start thinking about coming out of the bucking and the spinning when she thinks she's done. You know, in a carriage that could get pretty dangerous if she, you know, when she tries to spin or she starts bucking and throwing up her hind legs. Here I'm just going to do a change of direction. Send her back off to the right, which again, she starts doing really well. And I'll, I'll keep going with the problem horses until they start doing really well after the problem. You know, sometimes I'm with them for a couple of hours yeah, before they start doing really well after the problem. And that's what I need to see. I, I need to show the horse that it's a lot it's easier really to, to do what I'm asking you to do. And I won't be with you for two hours if you just do the things I'm asking you to do without bucking and rearing and you know, spinning or trying to get out of the work throwing fits. You know, this mare is pretty spoiled, has been pretty spoiled in life. And there, I'm just going to go ahead and ask her to change her direction. And again, she's started starting to do really good. There she wants to spin a little bit to get out of it. Here we go again. And again. I'm not going to let her get out of it. I caught her in time. This, again, once again, I caught her in time. And I'm saying, you know what, Mayor? Right back to work with you. And at the end of the lesson, you know, she started doing really, really well. And she's been doing the bucking and the spinning a lot less within the four or five lessons I've had with her now. So here we go back to work again. And, you know, again, she's doing really well. And when I could see a difference in them, in their attitude, in their behavior, I'll go ahead and end the lesson.